Well, then I just want to start by uh, uh, thanking you, Elliot, for taking the time to chat with us uh, here at the Christian Beat, all about your upcoming release uh, of the version of I Believe with uh, Building 429's Jason Roy. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we're excited about it. And uh, actually, we just did, I just did a little bit of video footage the other night for it and um, at a church around the corner. Not the church I go to, but a different church, but. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate that. It, it's uh, here. Here it is, twenty some years since you know it came out, and you know it, it's it, it's it still has legs. It's the message, though. It's the message. Absolutely, and that's actually one of the questions I wanted to ask you. It was first released was in ninety four, ninety five, um, ninety five, ninety five, um, and so. I guess for you, how much of that has that song like changed in meaning, deepened in meaning, or persisted through those years till now? You know what? I think you hit the nail on the head with all of them. I mean, um, you know, when I think back to when that song was created, <laughs> let me go back because I always think stuff is already created that God's just waiting for us to walk into. It's already there. <laughs> you know? So I don't want to, let me take that back. I don't want to sit and make it sound like, oh, you know, it started with me. But <laughs> I mean, but by the time it was revealed to me, let me put it like that. Uh, I had no idea of the impact that it would have uh, around the world. I mean, I was just uh, a naive songwriter, singer, whatever you want to call me, and just dreaming of writing my own songs and getting them on the radio. Uh, so the fact that this song has lasted uh, this long, it's not, it's, in hindsight, it's not really a surprise because the message is love. And, you know, a lot of people keep, I, I've been hearing the last four or five years, you guys need to re-release that song. The world needs it now. The world needs it now. The world needs it even more now. It's it's even more rele relevant now. And, and you know, fortunately slash unfortunately, people are right. Because, you know, we're humans and we're hard-headed and we don't get it. So, you know, God keeps having to, you know, keep putting us through the same trials um, and until we finally get it. But the song, the, again, yeah, the song has persisted. The and and there's new listeners, you know, every year. There's there's new listeners that have heard it for the first time every year. So that's uh, that's a blessing in itself. That's huge to me. That that I'm a part of it. I can't. I, I I'm I'm telling you, if you knew me, I'm telling you, I am just like, I'm like a regular a regular guy. I got a, a daughter that just started college, son that just started high school, and my wife has to remind me of, you know, what's been going on in my life a lot of time with music because I just don't, I mean, I don't focus on it like, you know, I've, I've, I've never been one of those, do you know who I am kind of guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that is me. Hey man, I saw your video, man, when you had dreadlocks. Oh man, I man, I love that song. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes, that was me. You know what I mean? So, and and my kids, you know, they're 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 the they're, they keep getting it from when their when their peers find out because their parents told them, you know, who your pedal's dad is. You know what I mean? And it's like. Anyway, I think I've answered five questions that you didn't answer that, that, that you didn't ask. So um, I tend to do that. It, that's what happens when you, when you have ground coffee for breakfast. So. <laughs> uh, no. um, so if you take me back to 95 when you were first writing and releasing it, did you have any type of um, inkling or any type of thought or expectation or hope that that song would continue to be a song having conversations and you know almost 30 years later right no absolutely not uh when we recorded the song i do remember saying okay this is pretty good <laughs> you know what i mean because after we put strings on it and vocals i mean 
I, I, I remember us saying, I, I was like, I'll be surprised if a record company, I mean, doesn't, somebody doesn't go, let's give this a shot. Did I think it was going to last 28 years? No, no, I did not. I, I did not. I, you know, I did not. And that's, again, that's the power of the message. That's the power of the message. You know, God's word is, I've been, there's a, it's not a new word, but it's a new word to me. His word is intrinsic, which my only definition of that, when I talk to my kids about that, is to, is to say that you don't have to, you don't have to tell water to be wet. It just is wet. So, the message of God's love, there's power, in, there's power in the blood, power, you've heard the song, and, and there is, so there's, there's power in the message, you know, and we're just farmers planting seeds, that's pretty much it, so I, I think I answered your question. <laughs> Um, and this version that's coming out um, in the 17th, it's going to be with building 429's Jason Roy. Uh, do you yeah. want to talk a little bit about that collaboration and, you know, why why it was important for you to have him on it? Well, I mean, first of all, he's got a just a, a great voice. His band has an amazing track record. Uh, his band, I don't know if you you probably know, he did they did a cover of this song in 2006 mm -hmm. or 7. Mm -hmm. and you know, my manager was like, we need to get you guys on the track together. You know what I mean? And Jason was all for it. I was all for it. And I think it just really blends. He he has a he has a, a, a power in his voice that that I don't have. And it, it's fine. But but I think they both I, I think they mesh together. I think they mesh together and. You know, there's parts of the song that I was listening to. And I was like, yeah, I'm glad he's doing that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he's doing that because he, he he killed it. He really did. That's interesting. Um, when when you uh, had the time to connect with him on this, did he share any behind his heart of why they had chosen to do the cover, you know, and when they did and, you know, what the song meant for him and how that kind of impacted you as well? Well, I think uh, it, it goes right along with the message of all their songs. It kind of fit right in. It was a natural progression. And, um, I, you know, I, I hope, well, I, I believe now that, you know, he sees this as a natural progression with that. Like, okay, we've done this song before. Blessed is obviously done this song. We Let's do it together. So mm -hmm. I think it fits right along with uh, building 429's message. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you're hoping to kind of spread the message when it comes out again, rekindle the conversations. You mentioned some some video content you were also pulling together recently. So how do you see that kind of um, coming out then? You know, I always consider myself a naive, delusional dreamer, which is you almost kind of have to be to be in the record business. I always tell people this, like if I would have known how the record business is, not I'm not shooting holes at the record business, but just how hard it is to get things going, I probably never would have done it. So in that light, in my naive delusional way, I hope this song reaches every corner of the world and not just for selfish reasons, but just to spread the message of love. I just happen to be the vessel and Jason just happens to be, happen to be the vessel that it's coming through. It's the message. I mean, you know, we're getting close. We're, this, is, uh, this is the book of Revelation. <laughs> and, getting, and, and I think people... People need to hear the message. You know, the video footage that we shot um, the other night, we hope to use that like, you know, just kind of like a, as a visualizer. Uh, it could be, it might end up being part of the official music video. I don't know. But it's just one of those things that you, you have to, you got to run and catch, you got to catch up with it because it's going. The message is going. And you, you, there's really kind of like no, 
sitting down and waiting to see what happens. It's it's all it's like it's like a lot of people, and I've been guilty of this, you know, where you ask God for something and then you're like, okay, God, when you do this, I'll do this. And God's like, no, 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 that's not how it works. <laughs> you move first and then trust me that I'll be there. So we're kind of taking that attitude in the sense of like, okay, we're preparing to win. So we're going to do whatever it takes to, to push this message and push this version of the song. Look, I love our version, the original version that came out. Mm -hmm. I love it. It, it. It's to me, it's a, it's a, it's an excellently produced record, but this record, this version is, it's big, it's powerful, it's moving, it's anthemic, it's, I mean, I don't know, it, it's, I don't know, earth shattering, is that, I, I don't know, I just think it's, I think it's kind of like screaming, like, when Jason's, you, he, when he's going, I believe, it's like, okay, okay I, you, you believe it, you know what I mean? You believe <laughs> that he believes it, and he believes that you should believe it too, and it's just, Again, we're shooting for the stars and not for personal gain. You know, uh, I might buy a new keyboard out of it if we get enough airplay. But that's about it. But uh, <laughs> I've got my I've got my trusty. I don't know if you see. I got my trusty keyboard, my Kurzweil <laughs> right there that I've had for twenty years, and I won't. I just won't get rid of it. I won't no. do it. It's like an old pair of shoes, man. <laughs> yeah, but, well, you just can't. I get it. <laughs> Right, right. It, it it works and it's a part of me. But uh, yeah, we we just want everybody to hear the message. We want people to be moved. We want people to be moved as they were in '95 uh, when it came out, and even more so because I think it's going to reach uh, a broader audience. And you got to remember, 90, 1995, there was no social media. You know no. what I mean? It was it was radio and tour. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or and VH1 and MTV or whatever, but now we have a unique opportunity to really, really get the message out to a lot of people that may have never even heard the first version or may have heard it in passing. Mm -hmm. And you know that's happened a lot. I've listened to records growing up, hearing it for the first time, thinking it was the original recording, and that's like, oh man, that's a remake from a song thirty years before that. So yep. we're, you know, we know it's possible. Uh, absolutely. Um, I know we're coming close to time. So to wrap, I just want to give you, you know, 30, 60 seconds to just uh, share a message with listeners um, who may come in contact with this uh, re-release of this track or other um, works by yourself or Jason. Well, my, my message is to really just listen to this song with an open heart and to for each and every individual to examine ourselves. Are we loving one another? You know what I mean? Are we truly loving one another the way God teaches love, not the romantic Hollywood, beautiful music behind you love. I'm talking about compassionate, uh, forgiving love, um, a, a love of, of unity. That's, again, that's the message that, and, and we hope people just really, really like it, that it's music to their ears and music to their hearts and souls. And that's, that's the gist of it. You know, it's, a, it's a song. And again, I'm naive enough to believe that, you know, a song uh, has the capability of changing hearts. And I, and, and I know that's true because I've heard it numerous times over the years from people around the world, stuff we never even thought of when we were writing songs in the studio, just trying to get it on radio. The power of music and the power of the message behind the music is, is beyond me. And that's why I know this record is bigger than myself, bigger than Jason. It's bigger than all of us. So that's the message I would like people to take home from this song. Absolutely. I just want to thank you again, Elliot, for taking the time to chat with us. I really enjoyed getting to hear more of uh, your heart and your message behind the music. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you very much.